Yes, hello everyone. Welcome to the next limited video tutorial. Now, for this episode, guys, I'm gonna show you how to actually configure this TP Link load balancer. It is the R470P plus version. So, as you can see, it is now actually working now. Basically, what I have done after joining three different internet sources, as you can see, um, two, three, and four actually light up. Uh, those represent double AN and five. I'm using five as the LAN. So pretty much around the back, or the around the back is the line out. We actually have a LAN there. We have three double AN that can also be used as LAN, and we have a double double AN at the as port number one there. So that's pretty much it. All it actually um lined up physically so uh, basically i'm gonna actually now log into this load balancer and show you how to actually um configure it so stay tuned guys. Gonna... yes guys so um what i'm gonna do now i'm gonna actually log into the load balancer just to show you how it actually configure i would have already configured mine but of course i'm gonna take you through the steps now I would have changed my IP address 192.168.2.1 so that's the new IP address now the original IP address that comes with the load balancer it is 192.168.0.1 so I would have gone ahead and changed mine so now I'm going to log into it by default the password is admin now the username is admin and the password is also admin so that's by default so now I'm actually in so as you can see we have different options we have status so when you look at status you will see how many connections that are up now let's so as you can see double double a n two it is saying connected our IP address subnet mass and also a gateway let's go down to um double a and three as you can see connected also our ip address and um double a and four also connected so basically i'm joining three different internet services we have a quick setup section there um a network so this is the tricky part of it where you can actually change the functions of these four as you can see so click on two so as you can see so these three that are in green now they are actually giving the function of lan that simply means that they're going to actually send out internet and these two would be receiving internet and actually joining two different internet supply so one when you click on one you will only have one double an click on two you know we'll, we'll actually have um, two different internet service providers that you can join click on three you can actually use three different click on four right so this with this um tp link load balancer you can join up to four different internet connections so click on WAN lan so this is where you go and change the ip address so as i said by default it is 192.168.0.1 so i would have gone ahead and um, change mine right there so we have a lot of different settings that you can play with just gonna go to advanced show something that is very important um load balance so click on load balance now by default this is actually enable so enable application optimize routing now if you should enable this what it does is that for example we have a particular application that application will only choose to use all of the bandwidth from just one of the isp and i don't want that to happen you actually want when for example the speed that number one is giving you once you're not getting enough speed then it will actually move over to number two or another um, internet connection so please uncheck it 
but once it, uh, you want to check it then you actually go to save right there so pretty much we have a lot of different settings that you can play with but in terms of you ensuring that it work and then you just simply need to go into load balance and check that and of course you'll go to network and um, choose how many of the internet supply you're going to be using so i'm just going to show you i'm going to go back to status so what i'm going to do i'm going to disconnect for example WAN which is number two connection so disconnect it right you're going to see it pop up on the computer showing you that it is disconnected Right, so I would have just disconnect this one. Let's do a refresh. Right, so I've just just done a refresh. So as you can see, three and four are now still saying connected, but as for number two, it is saying connecting. So I would have just disconnect. So I'm gonna reconnect it, and in a moment you should see it getting IP address once again. So there are ways to find out if all the internet supplies are working it's just simple um, just test your speed or leave uh, individual one it in it at any given moment if you're, you're checking individually that they're actually um, working now, of course there are a lot of different um, settings that you can play with but I would have just purchased this for just simple one reason just to join four different internet connections that's the only reason why I would have purchased this one so as i said guys um the first thing i would have done is to go to network go to lan and change the ip address so this ip address you need to know this ip address because this is all you're going to be able to log into the load balancer so i would have gone ahead and um, done that then um one double an you can go there and choose how many of the ports you're going to be using in terms of joining different internet supplies all right different isp then go to advance and load balance as i said you would uncheck this so once again guys um again at this video tutorial just giving you a simple tutorial in terms of you configuring your tp link um TLR470 T plus load balance rotor. Right, so as you can see, go right up to 50, 51, 52. So, really make a difference in terms of um, the load balancer. So, once again, guys, if you're new to my YouTube channel, please remember to click on the subscription button, leave your comments in the comment section of the video. And of course, share the video. So once again, guys, um, thanks everyone. Femitech is out of here.